everyone. Welcome to English Book Two, Unit Nine. I'm Michelle Guo, Guo Xiaoqing. 大家好，欢迎收看英文二第九讲的课程。It is my pleasure to introduce today's guest speaker, Mr. Chuck Williams. 首先介绍今天的特别来宾，威廉老师。Hello, everybody. Uh, Mr. Williams, uh, you study Chinese. I did study Chinese. Yes.、Um, Are you studying Chinese、um, on your own, or are you taking any Chinese lessons? Since I've been living in Taiwan, I have done studying with friends, and I have also done university courses. Oh, ah,、uh, Wei Ling 老师呢，他很努力的在学英英啊、uh, 学中文。那他有跟朋友学，那也有在学校上课。Um, did you find、uh, Chinese lessons at school useful? They were very useful. Yes, very intense too. Hmm. Uh, William 老师认为在学校上课呢，就是呃非常就是可能呃就是呃非常就比较紧张一点。那嗯、um, ，do do you use any strategies to help you learn Chinese? One of my favorite strategies was figuring out who I was going to talk to that day, and I would write questions I could ask them before. Oh, so you're very you will plan ahead. That's right. Yes. You're an active active learner then. You could call it that. Yes. Ah,、uh, William 老师说呢，他像每一天在呃、uh, 学中文的时候，他知道如果他会碰到什么人，他就会预先想好要问对方什么样的问题，他就会先把它列出来。所以威廉老师呢，在学中文的时候是非常的积极，他不会等别人问他什么问题，他会事先想好问题，先去问对方。好，我们现在来看一看这一课，啊、uh,。Out of class study time, 课外的研习时间。我们来看这一课的课文。Let's take a look at the article for this、right. unit. Class time for learning is often limited, so the out of class study time is essential, especially for building or increasing language proficiency. Therefore, most teachers find it important to design and assign homework. To students for further practice, so as to strengthen what has been taught in class, so that students become better in the language that is still unfamiliar to them. 好，我们来看这一段的讲解。Class time for learning is often limited. 要利用上课的时间来学习语言呢，往往其实时间是受限制的。Limit. 可以当动词，也可以当名词。那这边呢 ，limited 是过去分词，当形容词，指的是有限制的、受限的。So the out of class study time is essential, especially for building or increasing language proficiency. 所以呢，课外的研读时间呢，就显得相当的必要，也就是非常的重要了。特别是用来要增进或者是提升语言的能力的时候。So, 所以呢，在这边是这个句子的作用，它是一个连接词，是连接跟前一句的概念。Out of class， 那它是有 after class 的意思，也就是课后、课余时间。Language proficiency 呢，它其实指的是语言的熟悉度、语言的精熟度，也就是 language ability、language capability 的意思。Therefore。Most teachers find it important to design and assign homework to students for further practice, so as to strengthen what has been taught in class, so that students become better in the language that is still unfamiliar to them. 因此呢，许多老师都认为要设计，还有指派回家作业。给同学呢做进一步的练习，来加强课堂上所教授过的课程，这是非常重要的。而且呢，这一些可以让学生呢把不太熟悉的语言所学的东西呢学得更好。Design 是动词，啊、呃，它有设计的意思。Design 也也可以当名词来使用。Assign 呢是动词，指的是分派、指派的意思。啊、呃，它的名词呢？就 assignment 是作业，那 assignment 作业还有另外一个字，同学可能啊、呃、比较熟悉，就是 homework， 啊、呃、也是名词。
，那也是作业。那 homework 同学会想 homework assignment 都是作业啊，那到底？啊、呃，要怎么用呢 ？Homework 呢，它是不可数的名词，它是泛指所有的作业。那 Assignment 呢，它可以是指啊、呃、单一的作业。那 Assignment 是可以数的。Further 是形容词，是指嗯、呃、更进一步的、更远的意思。那 Further practice 就是更进一步的练习。So as to 啊、呃，它有 in order to 为了。的意思就是以便于怎么样？那呃 ，so as to 呢？它是呃，跟 in order to 不一样的地方是说，它只能用于句子的中间，它不能用在不像 in order to， 它可以用在句子的开头，那它只能用在句中。So that 是啊、呃、一个连接词，是因此所以一个结果的意思。Unfamiliar 啊、呃。我们先看 familiar 这个字 ，familiar 呢是形容词，熟悉的意思。on u n 我们之前有讲过，它也是一个自首，它有否定的意思。unfamiliar 就是不熟悉。a foreign language 就是一个外国语言。那外国语言通常来讲是一个新的语言，对同学来说都是比较 unfamiliar。所以 a foreign language is usually unfamiliar to our students. Now let's take a look at paragraph two. A report by Japanese scholars pointed out that it takes about three to five years for students to have a good command of oral English, and at least four to seven years to develop substantial academic skills. To motivate students to learn a foreign language and to be willing to practice the language in the classroom and to carry on practice after class time, teachers may need to bring. In interesting materials, and design group activities to facilitate discussion. In that way, students can take a more active role in their learning. They can think about the given tasks and voice their opinions instead of waiting for answers. 好，我们来看这一段。A report by Japanese scholars pointed out that it takes about three to five years for students to have a good command of oral English. 有一份日本学者的研究报告指出呢，学生要有良好的英语口语呢，需要花三年到五年，呃，这样子的时间哦。那这个动词 take 花多少时间 ？It takes a lot of time， 花很多的时间。花时间，我们用 take 这个动词。A good command 在这边指的是能够有良好的掌控运用能力。口语呢，我们常说口语能力，我们常说 speaking ability。但是啊、uh, ，oral English 啊、uh, ，我们也可以说口语英语，我们也可以用 oral English 啊、uh, ，oral English ability， 我们也可以这样说。那我们继续来看 ，and at least four to seven years to develop substantial academic skills。刚刚讲英语口语能力要差不多三到五年。可是，如果要进阶到学术的这种英语技巧呢，要花四到七年才才能够培养出有相当实力的这种技能。Academic 是形容词，学术的意思。所以，如果有人说三个礼拜可以学好英文，嗯，其实这个大多都是那个可能是唬人的、哦。好，我们接下来继续看 ，to motivate students to learn。A foreign language, and to be willing to practice the language in the classroom, and to carry on practice after class time. 为了要启发学生学习外语呢，并热让学生能够乐于在课堂上练习语言，然后在课后也可以持之以恒的话，要怎么样呢？好，我们来看这一句里面 ，be willing to 是一个这个片语是愿意、乐于尝试做什么事情。那老师要怎么做呢？ Teachers may need to bring in interesting materials and design group activities to facilitate discussion. 老师可能就需要准备比较有趣的材料啊，设计一些小组活动啊，来促进讨论。Material 名词，那常常是用来讲物质或是材料。那我们在这一课指的是上课的教材的意思。In that way, students can. Take a more active role in their learning. 呃，借由这样的方式呢，学生可以呃比较主动的参与活动学习 
active 是主动的、积极的。那它的相反呢，就是 passive 比较消极的。Role, R O L E 角色是名词。They can think about the given tasks and voice their opinions instead of waiting for answers. 对于老师所分派的活动。呃，或者是呃作业啊，他们可以呃多做一些思考，然后表达他们的想法意见，而不是不是只是坐在那里等答案而已。Given tasks 是指所给予的工作或者是活动。Voice 一般来讲声音，嗯、呃，是名词，可是它也可以当动词哦，指的就是表达意见 ，express opinions。Instead of 是指代替的意思。Now 呃、uh, ，Paragraph three。Students in Taiwan are accustomed to sitting quietly, listening to instructions, copying down what the teacher says, and using rote learning. Because copying and memorization are often used to study Chinese characters, many Taiwanese students are used to copying as a way of learning English, particularly memorizing vocabulary. However, a study showed. That students who did alternative homework assignments, such as matching words, solving puzzles, and drawing, outperformed students who did copying word-for-word -word practice. The type and study format in class and after class will affect students' motivation and thus impact the quality of their learning. If students find out-of-class time study interesting, they will be more willing. To get involved in learning, both teachers and students may have to find stimulating out-of-class study activities. 好，我们来看看这一段的句子。Students in Taiwan are accustomed to sitting quietly, listening to instructions, copying down what the teacher says, and using rote learning. 这看起来好像很熟悉哦，因为台湾的学生都很习惯，就静静在教室坐着听啊，把老师说的东西全部都抄下来啊，然后就死记硬背，把东西学起来这样子。Be accustomed to. 就是逐渐的、习惯的做某些事情，啊、uh, ，rote， 呃，是一个名词，就是死记硬背。rote learning 就是死记硬背的这种学习方法。Because copying and memorization are often used to study Chinese characters, many Taiwanese students are used to copying as a way of learning English, particularly memorizing vocabulary. 由于抄写啊，这种记忆背诵。常常被使用来学习，就是中文、中国字，所以呢，很多台湾学生就把这种习惯，就是把这种抄写，当也当做学习英文的一个方法，特别是用来用这种方法来学背英文单字。这一句里面第一个 used to 啊、呃、是 used 的动词哦，它是使用呃过去的分词，那前面有一个 be 动词。它是被动式，后面的呃子句 ，students are used to copying the be used to， 啊、呃，它是一个动词片语，指的是说，呃，学生逐渐于习惯做什么样的事情。那它后面的动词呢是加动词 ing， 两者都是 use， 可是意思是不同的哦。前者的 used to 是使用，使用什么方法，后面的 be used to。呃，动词 ing 呢，是说逐渐习惯，呃，逐渐习惯做什么事情，所以两者两个虽然都是 use， 可是啊、呃，他们的意思是不一样的。好，我们来继续看下一句。However, a study showed that students who did alternative homework assignments, such as matching words, solving puzzles, and drawing. Outperformed the students who did copying word-for-word -word practice. 然而呢，有一项研究就表示呢，学生做这种非传统的回家作业，像是单字配对啊，呃，解谜题啊，还有绘画等等，都胜过学生这种逐字逐字的抄写。那刚刚提到的几种比较非传统的练习，譬如说 matching words 就是单字的配对。Solving puzzles 就是解谜题 ，drawing 就是指画画、画图、绘图。
The type and study format in class and after class will affect students' motivation and thus impact the quality of their learning. 像这种课堂或课后的学习形态跟方式，都会影响学生的学习动机，进而影响他们的学习品质。If students find out-of-class time studying interesting, they will be more willing to get involved in learning. 如果学生觉得这种呃课后作业啊，这种课后练习很有趣，他们自然就会乐于学习。Impact， 呃，是有 inference 的意思，就是影响。它可以当啊、呃、，impact 这个字可以当动词，也可以当名词。Both teachers and students may have to find stimulating out-of-class study activities. 所以，其实不管是老师，甚至学生本身呢，都可以啊、uh, 找一些有趣，而且可以激发啊、uh, 学习动机、学习兴趣的一些课课外的学习活动。Um, Williams, they are actually. Um, a lot of learning activities students can find、um, that students can do. Not necessary. Teachers have to find all the activities for students. Can you think of、um, maybe some activities students can do on their own? Yeah, definitely.、Um, one one great thing is role playing. It's always fun to role play.、Um, active the words that you're trying to learn. It's a, a great way to learn new words too. Right, right. Um, 我刚刚有问到威廉老师，就是其实呃，学习呢不一定是要由老师来引导。那同学呃自己本身呢可以自我学习。那威廉老师刚刚有说、呃、可以做一些角色扮演，或者是呃同学可以呃譬如说用动作跟呃单字或者是跟呃句子的意思呃做一些。呃，呃，表演或者是以动作来做一些联想，这些都可以帮助自己来学习。那学习其实不一定是要靠老师，不一定要靠课程。那其实自我学习也是非常重要的。Now let's take a look at、uh, important vocabulary from the unit. All right, let's go. Essential. 啊、uh, ，是形容词，必要的，呃、uh, ，不可缺的。Plenty of practice is essential for learning a foreign language. 大量的练习呢，对学习外语是有必要的。Proficiency. 呃，名词，精通，熟悉。Students from Singapore are reported to have a high level of proficiency in oral and written English. 有报道指出呢，新加坡的学生在英语的口语跟写作方面都有相当高的程度。Assign， 动词，指派、分配。Despite her inexperience， the new employee was assigned to the customer service section， where she found it difficult to answer their many questions。呃，尽管缺乏经验，这个这名新进的员工还是被分配到客服的部门去。在那边呢，他了解到要解决客户层出不穷的问题是有困难的。Strengthen， 动词加强、巩固。Attending workshops or seminars in your professional field can help strengthen your skills. You can learn a great deal from listening to other people's experiences. 参加自己专业领域的一些研习讲座，可以加强自己的技能，也可以从别人的经验中做学习。Command， 名词，能力或是命令。The police commanded the suspect to stop running。警察命令的嫌犯不要再逃跑了。A good presenter needs to have a good command of language。一个好的演讲者呢，需要有好的语言驾驭能力。Substantial。形容词，重要、实在的。The company made substantial changes that improved both its product line and employee performance, and finally, it began to make a profit. 这家公司呢，做了重大的改变，它改善了它的生产线及员工的表现呢，而后公司呢，终于又开始获利。Motivate. 动词，啊、呃，激发、鼓励。The speech 
I Have a Dream by Martin Luther King is highly regarded as a landmark motivational speech. Martin Luther King Martin Luther King motivated people to think past racial issues and instead focus on peace and justice for all people. Facilitate。Technology can facilitate learning by providing learners with more resources and bring them into contact with more real-life contexts. 科技呢，可以借由呃提供学习者更多的资源，让他们能够接触到更多实际生活可以运用到的情况来帮助他们学习。Task。名词，作业或是工作。A project manager actually has responsibility for several projects and must assign the various tasks. To the team members who have the most experience in a particular skill. 一个专业经理人呢，大多手上都有好几件专案在进行，所以必须要根据每个人的经验、技能来分配不同的各项任务。Accustom，动词是习惯于。Be accustomed to。习惯于渐渐习惯于什么。you had better accustom yourself to working late and getting little sleep on the night before the big exam. 在大考之前,恐怕就要习惯读书到很晚,然后那个晚上睡得很少的生活. People involved in agriculture, which includes growing food and raising farm animals, are accustomed to hard work. 通常從事農業的人呢,包括種植,農作物啊,換養農畜呢,都必須要適應非常艱苦工作的這種生活。Instructions。教學,講授。The gym teacher gave clear instructions on an exercise so that students could do it easily and without injury. 體育老師呢做了非常清楚的運動講解,然後學生不僅能夠輕鬆的完成,而且不會受傷。Memorization。名詞,手記記憶。Rather than write them in a notebook, the man used memorization to keep track of the phone numbers of his family and friends. 與其寫在筆記本上,這個人可以把他家人朋友的電話號碼都記憶在腦中,真是太厲害了。the poems were memorized in our youth, will come to mind effortlessly even when we grow old. Character. character The individual letters and sounds of the Chinese language are composed of complicated characters that are both artistic and meaningful. This house is completely decorated with beautiful antique furniture which gives it the charming character of an earlier century home. 这个房子呢，完全是以非常精致美丽的古董家具来布置，让它有宛如早期世纪的那种房子迷人的风格。Alternative。形容词可供选择的，可以代替的。Big supermarkets have the advantage of being able to offer alternatives in ethnic foods, brand varieties, deli products, and even cooked meals. Much more than small stores have the space or budget to include. 和一般小的商店比起来呢，大型的超级市场有更大的空间跟预算来提供更多样化的异国料理啊、品牌种类啊，甚至各种熟食制品的这种优势。Outperform。动词胜过。One research study indicated that male 
students outperform female students in arithmetic and reasoning. However, new research has found the difference has more to do with educational bias than with actual ability. 以上研究指出，男生呢在算术跟推理上是胜过女学生。然而呢，有新的研究却指出，这种结果呢其实是跟教育的偏见比较有关，反而跟实际的能力的差异是没有太大关系的。Effect. 动词影响。Many streets were greatly affected by the recent typhoon and suffered severe flooding and damage. 因为受到近期台风的影响损害呢，许多街道都受到严重的洪水灾害跟受到损失。Quality. 名词品质。Because it wants to earn customer trust, the company emphasized good quality in every item it makes, rather than flooding the market with a large quantity. Of poorly made clothing. 为了要让客户能够得以信任呢，这间公司强调的是，呃，以它的成品是高品以高品质来取胜，而并不是以大量的劣质服饰呢来充斥市场。Stimulating. 形容词，激励的，启发的。As you read this book, you will find it contains many stimulating ideas. That will benefit your financial planning. 阅读这本书的时候呢，你就会发现，啊，它里面呢包含有许多启发性的想法，这对你的财务规划呢就非常有帮助。好，我们来看这一课的重点文法。Used to 呢指的是过去的习惯，过去的做法，现在已经没有了。那我们请威廉老师来念一下例句。As a child, I used to believe in Santa Claus. 那我们来看下一组呢。Become used to sentence. I've become used to driving on a busy highway. 我已经渐渐习惯在繁忙的啊公路上开车。另外一组呢是 become accustomed to， 也是渐渐习惯做什么 sentence. In my new job. I become accustomed to working with a team instead of by myself. 在我新工作呢，我渐渐习惯是呃跟小组一块工作，而不是呃自己单独作业。好，在形式上呢 ，used to 后面是要加原形动词，是过去的习惯。Become used to 跟 become accustomed to 后面都是要加动名词。我们来看两个例句。The man used to smoke cigarettes, but he quit half a year ago. Students are used to hands-on assignments in the laboratory. Students are used to doing hands-on assignments in the laboratory. College students are accustomed to term papers and presentations. College students are accustomed to writing papers and giving presentations. 刚刚威廉老师举的例子呢，都是 used to become used to become accustomed to 的一些用法。记得 used to 后面要加原形动词，其他两个是要加动名词，动词 ing。William, so thank you very much for coming, and good luck on studying Chinese. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you very much for joining us. See you next time. Don't forget to practice what you learn. Goodbye.